In this video of projectile motion, we are going to discuss about some specific cases for range. The first one will be maximum range. I have caught the children in my classroom with something like this. They know how to make it and it works quite effective to prank the students sitting in the first bench. Now, the range will be maximum at a certain angle. Let us derive an expression for it. Now we know the expression for range is u square sin 2 theta upon g. So range will be maximum when sin 2 theta will be equals to 1 which implies that when 2 theta equals to 90 degree that is when theta equals to 45 degree range will be maximum. So if you launch a projectile in oblique projection at an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal then it will cover the maximum distance. Since range is maximum at 45 degree then there has to be some relation between the ranges for theta greater than 45 and less than 45. We will now derive an expression for range at different angles. You know the expression for range u square sin 2 theta upon g when an object is projected at an angle for 90 minus theta let that range be denoted by r dash given by u square sin 2 90 minus theta upon g simplifying it we get u square sin 180 minus 2 theta we know that sin 180 minus any angle will be nothing but sin itself hence that will be equal to u square sin 2 theta upon g and that is nothing but range at angle theta hence we can say that range is same for complementary angles hence we have the scenario where range increases when we go from angle 20 degree 30 degree becomes maximum at 45 degree then again goes on decreasing above 45 60 70 and so on you must have noticed that for theta and 90 minus theta the range is same but the trajectories will be different. So the value of maximum heights for the projectile will be different but the ranges will be same. Let us solve an example regarding complementary angles. Now two bodies are projected at angles theta and 90 minus theta to the horizontal with the same speed find the ratio of their range and times of flight. As we have already discussed range is same for complementary angles hence R1 is to R2 will be 1 is to 1. Let us derive for times of flight. The expression for time of flight is T1 2u sin theta upon g and T2 will be 2u sin 90 minus theta upon g. Taking the ratios 2u upon g gets cancelled out. You are left with sin theta upon sin 90 minus theta. Sin 90 minus theta is nothing but cos theta. Hence, t1 upon t2 will be sin theta upon cos theta. That is nothing but tan theta. Hence, the ratio will be t1 is to t2 equals to tan theta is to 1. Can you solve the same question for maximum height? Leave your answers in the comments and don't forget to subscribe.